What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out 10 greatest WWE Universal Championship matches ever. Now, I definitely wanted to check this out since we've just recently seen with um, Roman Reigns uh, defending his uh, Universal, undisputed Universal uh, Championship against uh, LA Knight. And uh, I've seen the general consensus is it wasn't a bad match, but it's not something that a lot of people will honestly remember. It was, you know, good for what it was, but he has had some pretty good Universal Championship matches, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be all on this list because he's the longest reigning Universal Champion of all time. So it's going to be very interesting to see which matches they have on this list for Roman Reigns. Because I know he's going to be on here a lot, so... Should be an interesting one. I definitely wanted to check it out with you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. We're going to get right into this one, man. Since it was introduced, the Universal Championship has gone from universally despised jam belt to universally tolerated mustard belt. In that time, yeah. eight different men have held it. Unless LA Knight managed to win it yesterday, in which case I've just made a killing on a bet. So screw you guys, I'm off to... Nah, man. I... Man, for those who bet on LA Knight to win, I bet their payout was going to be ridiculous if he actually would have won. <laughs> Sunny Mexico. But if not, over the next two lists, you're going to see a lot of the same names. And within these various combinations, there have been some absolute gems. These are they. I'm Dan Haley from Parts yeah. Unknown, and these are the 10 greatest Universal Championship matches ever. Number 10, Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins, WrestleMania 35. This With honorable mention to their great clash pretty, at SummerSlam a few months after, I have really fond memories of this brief match that kicked off what was probably the last single night WrestleMania. It starts... And it's crazy because no one expected this match to be so short. I don't even think people expected it to be on first. I was surprised that it was on first. And it was short, sweet, straight to the point. And a lot of us enjoyed it. I know I did. <laughs> Started with a great bit of theater. Host Alexa Bliss had manifested Hulk Hogan and they were mugging to the audience when through the middle of them charged a mightily grumpy Paul Heyman. In true whingy heel fashion, Heyman grabbed a mic and complained that since his client wasn't gonna be on last, they'd instead go on first and get out of this town as quickly as they mm -hmm. could. This brought out the challenger, a fired up Seth Rollins who was enjoying a great run, chasing the title after winning the Rumble. Immediately Lesnar manhandles Rollins and it looks yeah. like he's gonna rough him up to make quick work of him, but one swift arm to the gonads cuts the beast off in his tracks as Rollins hits a trifecta of stomps for the win, mm -hmm. much to the approval of the faithful in attendance. Yeah. WWE was smart to capitalize on the fans' energy behind Rollins in this moment and use this as a quick way to set the live crowd up for the night ahead. They only yeah. needed to sustain it for a further, ooh, five hours. Good luck, <laughs> number nine. Jesus, I'm glad they got rid of those single night <laughs> 12 matches, 12 match WrestleManias. <laughs> Nine. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns, Royal Rumble 2017. This was Owens a good and Reigns one too. Had three matches at the Royal Rumble for the Universal title. We could have happily picked any, but I went for this one because of six simple words. Chris Jericho in a shark cage. Yeah. Wrestling is <laughs> this brilliantly stupid. This was fun. I appreciate that this match doesn't hang about in its quest to take advantage of the no DQ stipulation as the pair brawl into the crowd in the early going, while Jericho hangs above the ring in a cage. At one point, Owens builds a Jenga tower of this chairs and they do a will they won't they spot where oh each man teases God. throwing the other one through it, much to the crowd's appreciation. Jericho still hanging in a cage. A few tables get shattered, as do a few vertebrae, as Kevin falls off the Jesus. ropes through his chair tower and then is power bombed through the announce table before Braun Strowman interferes to take Roman out and leave mm -hmm. the door open for Owens to sneak a victory, during all of which I can confirm that Jericho remains hanging in a cage. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Number eight, fun. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre, Clash at the Castle 2020. Definitely, this had to be on the list. Some people still think Drew should have won at this at this precise moment. This has to be on the list. Easily damn near one of Drew McIntyre's best matches in WWE too. Now then, I like this one very much because facts are facts, America. British crowds do it better. And whacking a beloved <laughs> start in front of a rowdy Welsh crowd in the first live premium show on this fair isle in 30 years is enough to send even the most mild-mannered of Brits careening wildly into a fountain of lager. Diolk and Vaur. Also, it does rather help that this was our first live watch-along show, and when the match itself then delivers heart and your throat levels of suspense that yeah. had Ollie Davis clutching my arm so much that I've still got a mark, it makes you remember why you fell in love with this mm. whole game in the first place. All signs pointed to this being the moment that the head of the table was turfed out of his high chair. The build of Drew finally getting his crowning moment in front of actual human beings. The and the fact that he hit the spear on Roman was, I thought it was over. The use of his classic Broken Dreams theme over a montage of actual footage of baby Drew holding a toy belt right through his career to this point. And then the match starts as a slow burn that builds to a crescendo. So There's a desperately unwanted cash-in attempt that's stifled by a fellow Brit and the Claymore makes Cardiff come 
on yeah. dude before the most devastatingly well executed near fall breaks all of our dreams. Yeah. Number seven, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, WrestleMania 33. For some, it might be quite high, but I love this match. It's this actually wasn't a bad one. This actually wasn't bad. It's it's not my. I probably wouldn't have put it as one of my favorite. Uh, Universal Championship matches, but it was good, so I can understand why he may have it on his list. This was solid. It's a perfectly measured conclusion to an excellent story. It's a textbook three-act structure of a program that began at Survivor Series 2016 with that truly astonishing squash from mm -hmm. Goldberg. It continued through an unceremonious elimination of Lesnar by Billy Bobs at the Royal Rumble and culminated with an excellent bit of action figure wrestling at the Ultimate Thrill Ride. It's also a triumphant make good for their yeah. ill-fated match of WrestleMania 20 where they each got booed out of the building. Not a lot happens, but that's all to the better and you wouldn't know it from the roars of the crowd. The move list, in order, is German suplex, spear, jackhammer, more Germans, F5, pin. Yeah. That's it. It's no more than it needs to be, and it doesn't come close to outstaying its welcome. Yeah. You'd never know it from listening to me monologue on the Raw review, but sometimes brevity is key to the maximum impact, and I'm genuinely impressed with the restraint WWE showed in the booking here. Number six, Facts. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, SummerSlam 2022. I've spoken before about how Last Man this Standing right is here. one of my least favorite wrestling this stipulations. I just don't think there's anything <laughs> about two men staggering to their feet for a nine count every couple of minutes. So how do you fix that and win me over? By introducing a tractor to the equation. Yep. Apparently. How old am I? Five? Before the match starts, Lesnar calls himself a big old country boy and then throws his mic at Roman who catches it in one hand which is just straight up baller. And then yeah. he jumps off the tractor onto him. <laughs> Excellent stuff. And how do you argue with the giant tractor lifting the ring up and causing Roman to tumble out of the ring like a live action game so of all guys? Crazy. And then I cut to Brock Lesnar look like a child who can't believe he's getting away with it. It just gets five stars for this alone. That's one of the craziest summer slam moments of all time and i will always remember it that is a summer slam moment that is one of the craziest last man standing matches i have ever seen in my life this was great Holy shit, this was fantastic. Oh, the fact is, WWE had been trying to make fetch happen Heyman. with these two for so long by this point that the fatigue was very real. So the extra spice of country boy Brock having the time of his life and the sheer bombastic nonsense of it all makes this an absolute riot. Number Facts. five, Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles, Money in the Bank 2019. There was a reason WWE went with these two men to wrestle the match that mm -hmm. crowned a new World Heavyweight Champ earlier this year, and the reason was this match. It's a showcase of two wrestlers deeply comfortable in their own styles and mm -hmm. their craft, trusting each other to work a fast-paced, tightly contested match that needs pinpoint precision and timing to keep everything looking spectacular while staying safe. To illustrate that point, as the match nears its climax, Rollins goes for a stomp that somehow, with a fluidity so beautiful it might as well have been animated, AJ reverses into a <laughs> Styles clash. Crazy. And I kid you not, as I was watching this back, I screamed out loud. If you draw this match on a graph, and it's one of my favorite things to do, it's a beautiful curve starting slow as they feel each other out before getting faster, more dramatic, and more high risk as it goes. Chemistry Solid is match too. Of wrestling and these two have it in spades it was the very first one-on-one -on -one encounter between these two greats of the game and it's a match so good i'm genuinely grateful that they've at least somewhat resisted the temptation to run it back over and over number four roman reigns versus daniel bryan smackdown 2021 this the only match oh, on our list yeah, that took place this, this definitely has to be on there this was fantastic this match in itself oh this was so good this was so damn good. <laughs> On weekly TV. Not only that, it's the Ruddy Thunderdome, which is this usually good. an instant DQ around these parts, so its presence here is even more impressive. Mm -hmm. TV presents its own set of challenges towards putting together a quality match. It's hard to get momentum and sustain it when you have to construct it around regular commercial breaks. But that didn't stop these two. They nope. always mesh well together. I mean, it's mm -hmm. Brian Danielson for crying out loud. He'd wrestle Tom McGee to a five-star match on a rainy day in Stoke. That's uh, two jokes for the price of one. You're welcome. It's an evenly paced contest with each man at various points getting the upper hand but never mm -hmm. long enough to capitalize. It becomes a story of endurance. They have to dig deep to find their reserves and somehow overpower their opponent. In the end, they trade submissions and- Back when Roman Reigns was wrestling on SmackDown. <laughs> Don't even seem real, y'all. <laughs> Brian passes out. It's interesting in hindsight knowing this was Brian's final WWE mm -hmm. match. He doesn't tap, but by passing out, he gives Reigns a crucial clean win that puts the audience in no doubt that this new Roman- A clean win. When's the last time we seen Roman have a clean win? That's, he passed. He made him pass out. This is this is peak Roman in my opinion. He's really getting into that momentum. He made him pass out. He didn't cheat to win. He beat him clean. I was in, this is this is the version of Roman I was definitely enjoying for sure. <laughs> is an absolute monster. Number three, Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn. Had to be on the list, of course. There may be some recency bias here, but I'll. Uh, 
I'll acknowledge it. <laughs> what am I like? While you may have your thoughts about the Bloodline saga as we near the end of 2023, it's hard to argue that Sami Zayn breaking free of Roman's emotional manipulation and challenging for the big belt in so his hometown good. of Montreal represented its apotheosis. Yes, I use that word. They don't call me the professor for nothing. At this point, the main event of WrestleMania seemed pretty nailed on, but WWE did a fabulous job of weaving Zayn into that story that mm -hmm. they managed to keep the flicker of hope alive in the minds of legions of fans around the world mm -hmm. who felt we could somehow collectively will him to the title. I challenge you to watch his entrance with a dry eye. Having his family at so ringside good. was an inspired touch that took already sky-high soap opera drama into the stratosphere. And Michael Cole, much maligned but not always fairly, does a Hall of Fame job on commentary, mm -hmm. reminding us that there's always a chance, begging us to believe in miracles. And as Sammy hits an exploder, a Superman punch, and his signature halluva <laughs> kick in quick succession, do you know what? I was starting to. There's yeah. nothing like pro wrestling, eh? <laughs> Number two, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman versus Samoa Joe. SummerSlam 2017. Before big meaty men- This was a good SummerSlam match too, man. <laughs> and slapping meat this became so a meme. Good. Try saying that when he drunk. Came this prime steak slap fest. It's like a proper kaiju fight. It appeals to the most base of our Neanderthal instincts. Big man do big bash. It's not so much a wrestling fight as a 20 minute display of people running full pelt into each other. And it is sick. It's Facts. utter calm. Within the space of about 40 seconds, Joe gets speared through yep. the barricade while Strowman barges Reigns into the fourth row and then uses Brock Lesnar's body like a rag doll this to demonstrate so how good. the Spanish announce team failed to correctly follow the IKEA instructions. It's breathless, chaotic, destructive action that is WWE at its most mm -hmm. sports entertaining. It's the kind of match where you wish you were standing with your mate holding a beer just so you could pour it over yourself in a rage of unbridled bloodlust. And the Brooklyn crowd are the fifth man mm -hmm. in this ring playing their part to perfection. The only thing wrong with this match is it doesn't end with Strowman taking the title the crowd mm. are so vocally behind him yeah. and he looks like such a beast that it feels like even if this wasn't the plan maybe this is where you call an audible but yeah. even so cure blimey just hang on i'm gonna go watch it and again. then brock doesn't have to get pinned brock doesn't have to get pinned here you can have braun Strowman or samoa joe but braun Strowman was super over at this point too you could have one of them win you know it man this is so so good either way. And, and number one, Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan versus Edge, mm, WrestleMania 37. Wow. I picked this for the top slot for a few reasons. Firstly, because it's bloody good. And secondly, because it was the closing match of the first show in front of a live crowd for over a year. Brackets, night two. This was and really good like too. Hope to me on the cold morning I watched it. But most importantly, because this was the first time I was convinced someone was going to defeat Reigns. And thus it was also the first time I mm -hmm. wondered, how in the hell are they going to take it off him? And we're now coming up on three years later. Cripes. <laughs> <laughs> also, gear was amazing. I mean, yeah. look at it. The rated R superstar had won the Thunder <laughs> Rumble, and after his triumphant return year was blighted by an unfortunate injury and an even more unfortunate global pandemic, seeing him have a world title match in front of this live crowd this was brilliant so enough. Good. But then you throw Daniel Bryan into so the mix, good. an ingredient that works with literally every dish. He is the garlic of the wrestling world, if you will, and just you try and stop me. It's tightly plotted. The heavy interference from Jay is still somewhat fresh at this point, and they use the triple threat stipulation to mm -hmm. absolute perfection with each near fall becoming more breathtaking than the last. That was a cool visual, having them both have him in the submission hold. Oh, that was such a cool visual. I was sure either challenger had it at various points, and this was Reigns' first WrestleMania defense mm -hmm. as Tribal Chief. And that final visual of the vicious, brutal Reigns piling his opponents up to make sure he covered them both at the same time, like a monster playing with its prey, was enough to cement this as the beginning of something truly special. Yeah. Greatness on a different level, not half. And that's our list. Have we missed any that you- this was great this was fantastic man this was fantastic i i did forget that he also has the other championships so they kind of uh unified them so that's why you didn't have like the match with uh jay uso on there uh, i'm sure they'll probably do a list of the um, the greatest uh undisputed <laughs> universal championship matches obviously with roman reigns since he's the only one uh with that that title that distinction and you know we don't know how long he's gonna have <laughs> uh the championship for so i definitely would have thought jay uh, deserves to be in that but they only were just talk talking about just universal championship uh matches exclusively which i can understand either way roman was featured heavily on this list so a lot of great matches on here comment down below let me know um some other great universal championship matches 
if they weren't on here if they weren't on this list let me know and if they were mentioned on this list what was your favorite one from this particular list but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shout on channel road to 150k and i'm seeing you on speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace